Hello dudes, this is Steve, this is my garage, and this is Bob. Um, Bob is like a big Kevlar dummy that I bash up a bit when uh, when things are going badly. <laughs> and here he gets locked in the garage for the rest of the time. Um, I'm talking to you about um, a thing called a matchy gut, uh, or a match coat, um, is what, what the sort of... Um, the uh, sort of white interpretation of that became after we sort of nicked the idea from the uh, the American Indians or the, the Native Americans. Um, it's also a similar gar garment um, of what called an arasad, which is um, a sort of it's Celtic or possibly Pictish in its uh, in its origins. Um, it's a long, 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 long time ago when you're talking about the sort of early references to that in the 1500s, but probably they've been using it for, for sort of thousands of years before that. Um, basically, it's a way of using a blanket as a coat. So um, what I'm going to do is just show you that. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't have an external mic anywhere on it, so I can't do, you know, I can't talk to you while I'm doing it. So what I'm going to do is just run backwards and forwards to the camera and that. So here we go. Give it a go. So, first of all, you get your, um, let me show you this, a Polish military blanket, um, and you have it in landscape format, so sort of oblong, sort of long ways, and um, I'm just going to put it over his head. So. There you go. So what I was doing is just lining it up there so it's um, sort of straight. Um, both both sides down there are both sort of uh, same length like that, so it's all right. So what we're going to do now is get a ten foot long piece of cord ish, sort of about, about that. Well, the only reason you have it ten foot is so it's a bit stronger, and basically so you don't you're not chopping your cord up into tiny little bits as well. And uh, there you go. So what you do is just get the two ends together, double it over. We're going to tie that round his waist, around the back, around the back. Okay. So here we go. So getting this like that and like that there and there there you go so I've got that pulled tight there through itself all the way around his waist so it's pulled around his body what we're going to do is just tie it off in just a normal reef knot There you go. So, what you can do obviously is adjust that belt. Oh my god, he looks. <laughs> I'm just looking at this. He looks like the Emperor of Star Wars. Um, uh, what you do is just uh, obviously you tie that. You adjust it to whatever, whatever sort of um, tension you want, particularly depending upon what you're carrying, depending upon what your size. And ten foot will fit anybody. I mean, five foot belt all the way around once you've doubled it is uh, big enough for anyone. So, what I've also done on this one, you can't really see from there, but I've got a couple of buttons, so it's cheating in a way, but. There's all sorts of different ways that you can fasten this at the front. So you've got, so you can adjust it outwards like that, so that um, you've got room for your arms and you've got a bit of carrying space, and space for your body around there, and uh, two buttons, one there and one there, and um, then two buttons just uh, fasten it across the chest there, so you can sort of see out. But if you don't want a hood up, obviously, just give it a bit of a like that. Yeah, so that's sort of made a bit of a collar for it around there, which sort of keeps the drafts out apart from anything because they are a bit drafty to wear. Um, and obviously, you know, use that to carry your kit as well. So uh, you've got your um, different types of cordage, your essential item there. You've sort of paracord and and uh, jute twine. So those can be there. They're tucked away inside the folds of it. Also, tinder box stored around the back, held in place by the belt. Um, also, that's through your belt, exactly the same. And um, I mean, also, yeah, you've got your Crusader cup and bottle there on the strap. There you go, and that's just held on like that. So you carry in all your items, you've got S for steel bottle, you've got, well, T for tarp, I'll show you in a sec, you've got your A for axe already, you've got 
eye for insulation, your blanket which you're wearing which is also your bed, you've got um, eye for insulation, tea for tinderbox as well obviously which is sort of hidden away around the back and half of rope. So also you've got the uh, integral designs sill poncho. Yeah, I mean this is one of those things you don't you don't have to spend the sixty or seventy quid that this thing's cost to buy it. Um, you just buy any anything similar. Make sure it's longer than six foot, obviously, to make the shoulders out of them. This is eight foot by five foot, which is a brilliant size for that kind of thing. So there we go. So and there you go. So uh, there he is all dressed up. So um, it's got a little bit of adjustment there on the front. You can just sort of cinch that down so that uh, so that you can um, so that you know the weather can't get in. Um, nice feature actually of these things, this integral design poncho that goes over the top of all that, is uh, you've. Um, I'll show you. You've got round the back. You can cinch it up. So say for example, if he wasn't using a straight six system, if he was using a rucksack or something like that, where he was carrying his Hudson's Bay pack and he wasn't wearing his blanket, he had it wound up like that, and, uh, and he was carrying it on his back. You get these little cords around the back here, and on the other side as well. You cinch them up around the rucksack and just. Uh, oops. Tie them like that. their toggles around the waist and what that does just keeps all the weather out and things and stops it from flapping around you and blowing about so there you go so um what we've, what we've learned in the first few videos we've had uh, first one which has sort of demonstrated the kit to you second one has showed you different kinds of options adapting the kit to yourself that kind of thing um and uh, sort of various other ones that we've done sort of just showing you how you can carry it and all this kind of thing and now obviously how you can uh, how you can wear it so um you know and how you, how you can adapt the blanket and things so um that's it and uh hang on a minute the one thing I've got, got is uh there you go made him a trekking pole he's got well i suppose i made myself a trekking pole rather than him really so it's um the uh all i've got is just a piece of the piece of cord there through the end of a piece of um hazel just sort of um cut the ends down a little bit like that rounded them off so the impacts uh, not sort of just hitting one point it's not going to split and uh, there you go and also obviously a pole like that is going to help him with uh, with building his shelter as well so all right dudes um see you soon cheers thanks for watching bye